Let's talk turbochargers and superchargers. Now, like we always do at Tech Garage, let's take a look inside. I got a turbocharger right here. On this side, it's the turbine side. The exhaust is spinning this side. And then what it does, it's attached over here to the compressor side. Now the compressor side is drawing cold air in and forcing it into the intake. Now the cool part is, this is a variable geometry turbocharger. That's some new technology. And you can see right here, if you look at these veins, these veins will actually vary. Well, think about this for a minute. If I blow through air through a tight space, that's gonna pressurize the air. If I blow through this space, not so much. So at low speeds, we can go ahead and close those veins, pressurize the air, and avoid turbo lag. What's turbo lag? Well, it takes a little exhaust to get this thing spinning. And I'll show you right here on our 240SX. It all starts right here at the turbine. The turbine's connected to the compressor. The exhaust is gonna spin the compressor, and then what happens, it draws air in right through here. This is the cold air intake. And then from the compressor, it gets sent down through this tube, and it runs through this tube over to an intercooler. The intercooler is located down here, and this is gonna cool the air before we send it back up and pressurize the intake manifold. Now superchargers, same principle, except they're belt driven. You can see the supercharger right here. What happens is, here's the intake side, and this is the pulley side. So if I pull it out, once again, you can see the actual rotors in here. So what's happening is these rotors spin around, it's gonna draw the air in, it's gonna send them around the outside, and pressurize the intake manifold. And our GT500 has that system. Here's the actual pulley right here, belt driven. Takes a little horsepower to do it, but this thing will overcome it. Then what happens is, it goes through here, pressurizes the intake manifold. It's gonna suck in through the intake and pressurize. Now, both of these cars are making a massive amount of horsepower. We get it into the cylinders, but we gotta get it out. So next, we'll look at exhaust systems when we come right back with more Tech Garage.